Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another segment of Owen O'Brien's Cooking. I'm your host, Hector. And if you've ever driven on the North Shore of Oahu, on the Kamehameha Highway, right down around the Sunset Beach area, I'm sure some of you have come across this little bakery called Ted's Bakery. And what they're famous for is this dessert called Chocolate Ho'opia Pie. Now, today, in homage to Ted's Bakery, we're going to try and rep replicate their little island light of Chocolate Ho'opia Pie. And I've got the ingredients here on the table. Okay, Crystal, I'm going to do this one time and one time only ever. Let's get the apron on and let's get cooking. Okay, for the pie crust, we've got flour, salt, sugar, butter, vegetable shortening, and a bowl of ice water. Okay, for the filling, we'll need coconut milk, sugar, milk, cornstarch, water, and semi-sweet chocolate. Okay, for the whipped cream, we'll need powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and whipping cream. Now let's take a look at the measurements for our ingredients. the pie crust. I was going to use a ready-made pie crust tonight, but uh, since this is a cooking show and I guess I have to demonstrate some cooking ability, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a homemade pie crust. And if you can pull out a homemade pie crust out of your back pocket, that's just a mark of a good cook, right? So let's take a look. Okay, in a medium-sized bowl, we put in our dry ingredients, flour, sugar, and salt, and we'll just mix that in real quick. Okay, next thing you know, we'll add our, uh, we'll add our butter in there. Um, if you can get one of these tools, um, it's called the pastry blender. Um, I highly recommend getting one. You can get one at Target for about four or five bucks, but uh, this is what you use to mix in the butter and the flour. And make sure your butter's cold. Okay, as soon as you got the butter mixed in a little bit more, we can go ahead and add the vegetable shortening. And you'll want to Mix it in and there until it's, you've got it to the consistency of cornmeal, like little peas. Okay, now we've got it to the consistency that we were talking about, um, like cornmeal. We can now start adding uh, the ice cold water to it, and again, that's really important. We got to add ice cold water to it, and that's with the bowl of ice water that we had. Okay, we'll start adding the uh, ice water to the mixture a tablespoon at a time, and mix it in and keep adding water a tablespoon at a time until the, until the dough starts to ball up. Well, as you can see, the uh, dough finally balled up and uh, we'll let that actually chill for about uh, half an hour before uh, we're ready to work it again. Okay, after we let the dough sit in the fridge for about half an hour, we'll take it out <coughs> and we'll set down on this piece of wax paper that we put some flour on to keep it from sticking on there. Um, take a little flour and put it on a rolling pin here and then we just roll the dough out to about 12 inches in diameter. Okay, we've rolled up the dough onto the rolling pin and we'll just roll it back out onto the uh, pie pan and just center it. Okay, once we've got the pie uh, crust centered, uh, we'll just gently um, form the pie crust onto the pie dish and once we've got that we'll, we'll trim the edges. Okay using a sharp kitchen knife we'll just go ahead and just trim the edges. Okay 
Okay, using a fork, we'll just add like a decorative trim around the edges. Okay, and since uh, okay, and since what we're doing is called blind baking, uh, we're gonna actually poke holes on the bottom of the pie crust so the crust doesn't bubble up when we're baking it. Okay, since uh, I said we were going to uh, blind bake the pie crust, we put a piece of tin foil in the center and filled it with some dry beans. Um, this way it'll weight down the center of the pie shell and keep it from bubbling up. Okay, we okay we preheated the oven to 350 degrees. We'll go ahead and stick our pie crust in there. Should take about 15, 20 minutes or so for it to turn golden brown. Okay, we just took the pie shell out of the oven. Um, we'll uh, let it cool, and in the meantime, we'll get started making the uh, pie film.